Bro, I've been testing this out and this is the best setting for sliding. And just like that, you guys have the best settings in the entire of Fortnite Chapter 3. Yo, what's going on guys and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the very best settings for Fortnite Chapter 3. Oh my days, if you don't just wake up and swim, man. Stop. Oh my days, if you don't just swim. It's right there. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to teach you the best settings for your aim, your builds, and your editing speed. I'm also going to be telling you the best settings for your FPS and your input delay. This video is going to be divided into two parts. The first part is going to be in-game options, which will teach you how to reduce your input delay and give you the best frames per second performance in-game by using the in-game options. And the second video is going to be options that you can use outside of Fortnite to reduce your input delay and give you the best frames per second possible. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So we're starting off with windowed full screen. This is best for the following settings I'm about to show you. Brightness at 100% and keep colorblind mode as off. I find that tritonope is a little bit too warm and the other colors are a little bit too dull. So, so if you want the best quality for you, I'd make sure to have it as off. As more time goes on and more professional players start adjusting their settings, they might advise you to play Dutchenope or Protonope or something like that. But for now, at the start of the season, I think playing off colorblind mode is your best bet. Okay, so the graphics quality settings. Put view distance at far. This is so you can see builds that are really far away, which is best if you're an aggressive player like me that wants to go and eliminate everyone. So make sure you have it on far. Shadows off, anti-aliasing off, effects low, post-processing low. All these options here are drastically going to decrease your FPS and drastically increase your input lag. Now, this is kind of a black sheep here. The textures mode is at medium and I'm pretty sure it affects your FPS and your input delay as well. So it's actually your best bet to put it on medium. Advanced graphics options. Now, V-Sync is absolutely terrible. What V-Sync does is actually it matches the FPS of your monitor to the game, which makes you have insane insane input lag make sure you stay clear of v-sync bro this is the worst option possible motion mode just makes you have less fps and more input delay and it doesn't even look that nice rendering mode at direct 12 beta i find this is the best for my input delay my fps drops and everything like that and i think it looks pretty decent myself allow multi-third rendering what this actually does is if you have multiple cores it will actually use all the cores instead of just individuals which will make you have a better performance in fortnite nvidia reflex low latency put out on plus boost it helps you the most with your input delay and i put dlss as off and make sure you keep ray tracing as off what ray tracing will do is make your game look absolutely amazing but it will make your input delay and your fps very very bad now there's also another option here where if you don't use one of my settings it will come up with use high resolution textures now you want to disable this option and right now i'm going to also show you how to uninstall the option and right after this i'm going to show you the rest of the settings so this is how you uninstall that option on pc you have to open up your epic games launcher as so you come over to the three dots here and don't worry if it looks different to what you're looking at basically it looks like this then all you have to do is still just press the three buttons here the three dots once you press that all you have to press is options and it will open up this segment here now here you can see every single thing that you've got installed your language packs fortnite battle royale itself and fortnite save the world however that's not what we're interested in as you guys can see there's an option here called high resolution textures now that is where your high resolution textures are actually saved now 20 gigabytes for something that is actually affecting your game's fps and input delay is absolutely ridiculous so what you want to do is if it's ticked you want to untick it and then press apply now as you guys can see that took my required storage space down from 42 to 21 gigabytes for something that actually makes my game performance worse now if it's already unchecked then don't worry it just wasn't installed just make sure it isn't checked and click apply toggle sprint make sure you have that as off as we won't be needing it in the bind section sprint by default as on as we won't be needing it sprint by default on as we will be needing it in the bind section sprint cancel reloading as off auto open doors as off this is so when you accidentally edit a door someone else accidentally edits a door you won't be busy pushing the door you will be shooting them hold to switch pickup as off toggle targeting is off mark danger when targeting on 
auto pick up weapons as on as when you're landing on a weapon you get it before the enemy and here is my preferred item slots this just saves you time and doesn't make you have to go idle make sure you have your sniper or your bow as the furthest to the right option so when you're going from your ar to your sniper all you have to do is just press l1 or lb and you instantly get your sniper out and auto sort consumables to the right make sure you have reset building choices on and disable pre-edit options is on as you don't want to be running around having already edited builds like this <laughs> Turbo building is on, obviously. If you don't have the on, where have you been? Confirm edit on releases the best for your edits. Makes you edit like a macro. Invert view, obviously off. And then all of these settings you want to just have off. Now, replays. If you're a YouTuber that does montages, you're going to want to obviously have replays on. But for the general person like you or I, you're going to want to have to have replays off. What replays does is it actually records your game, which makes you have less FPS and more input delay, which you don't want, so you want to keep it off. Now, HUD options. Before, I told you guys to keep it on 100%, but now I recommend you actually put it on 65%. This is so you have the most visuals on enemies and everything like that, and you're not distracted by your big HUD that's in your way, and obviously have absolutely everything on. Now, here are the settings that I know you guys have been waiting for. This is your controller options. Slide hold time. This is something that I think will be tailored to the individual. But since the default is 150 seconds, I would lower it to about 120 seconds here. Put vibration as off. As this in the future can actually cause you very bad health problems, keep it off. Now, this is something I've actually recently changed, which I really like. It's up in the build mode sensitivity multiplier to 2.1 times. This just makes you very swift. And as long as you can learn to control it, it makes you the best in every single scenario. Build fights, box fights, arena. And don't worry, your aim is still going to be sublime. Make sure you use advanced options. Look horizontal speed at 69% and look vertical speed as 81%. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say this is really fast. But as long as you get used to it, it is very, very good for your aim. Make sure you use these turn boost ramp time 0.20 instant boost when building as off now this is why these settings are usable now these are very very fast settings for building and editing yet the aim down sight speed is very slow 32 percent and 32 percent and a 0.20 second percent on the ads boost ramp time now these are by far the best aim settings in the game as you guys know i used to be known as one of the best aimers or oh, a lot of people used to get impressed by my videos <laughs> so i think i know a thing or two about this for aiming i know it's a very controversial one and not everyone's gonna love it but exponential now this is better than linear in my opinion if you have switched to linear i please 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 give exponential a go again this is one of the best settings in my opinion but your aim assist strength as 100 obviously you want all of that aim assist left stick dead zone as 20 percent and this is another controversial one i think putting your right stick dead zone at 10 percent is actually much better for your aim it just kind of sticks to the player like it's mad so if you want the best aim you want to put out at 10 percent if you want to be good at building i think 10 percent is a good middle ground as well but maybe try about seven percent if like if the building is a bit too slow and stiff for you but if not 10 percent is a good way to go this option makes my aim very fluid and it's very good now obviously sound options are tailored to whatever you guys would like however sound quality should be at high and 3d headphones should be off and if you scroll down a little bit you'll come to a licensed audio now if you're a youtuber or an aspiring youtuber that doesn't want their videos copyright claimed or striked then make sure to put it as mute others now here are the controller binds these are the best binds for your reaction speed for your edits your build your aim everything that i've talked about in this video now i will be giving you a bit of time to copy these down so yep make sure to copy these down if you do run out of time then just pause the video copy them down and then continue with the video here are my build controls i really love these binds i've actually had them for a very 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 long time and i haven't changed them because if it's not broken there's no need to fix it here are the edit controls once again i haven't changed these in a very very long time um i think i might have tailored them a little bit back when the macros um videos were very very popular however since then i haven't actually changed them because if once again if it ain't broken i ain't no need to fix it mate and here are the ability controls these are the best i'm gonna give you some time to copy them down sorry just had a bit of lucas said <laughs> 